Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'm your host, Michael Bartholomew, and I'm here playing a Magic the Gathering cube draft on the internet. And I'll be singing along with all of you. I started selling cards on eBay to make money since I'm not working. Are you proud of me? I am, actually. I am proud of you. I'm very proud of you. Ooh, Johnny! Adversary of Tyrants! There are four Planeswalkers in this pack? That's pretty ridiculous. I have an interview tomorrow. Handicapped Evil Gamer, good luck, buddy. Hope you crush your interview. I also like Goblin Rabble Master here. What if the Rabble Master tables? We can take a Johnny and then get the Rabble Master back? Hmm. Mox Emerald Forest, same thing, is also a great name, just to be clear. Take something stupid. That's a good idea. Kerwitz always got the solid ideas. I'm gonna tuck my hair in. All right, well, we're running out of time here. I'll take the Robin Master because maybe the Matron comes back. Actually. Oh, Dragon Fodder. Hello, Mother. Dragon Fodder. Here I am making lots of tokens. I'm going to take this dragon fodder. I'm trying to give Mike a lot of time to get back here, so. Michael's in the kitchen with... I can only wait so long. Yeah, I don't like passing the Nicky, Nicky B, but also this cube is a little more... Uh, a little more down to earth, as, as it were. Someone's in the kitchen with Michael B. Someone's in the kitchen with Michael. Someone's in the kitchen with Michael B. Someone's in the kitchen with Michael B. I feel like Ember Holler is better just because it's a goblin. Phoenix might even come back, but we're going to go with the red cards. Yeah, we should definitely get either Coat or Phoenix in the last, or Coat or Matron in the last pack for sure. There. I have three little goblins here, you stupid Mitch. Three little goblins. Oh, Adaptive Automaton. That's a goblin. I'm going to name Goblin. Who are you and why are you drafting Mono Red Goblins? <laughs> um, because sometimes you got to break the mold, my friend. I like hairs, some random hair strands. This is Mono Red Saltai. Salt, am I? I 
Oh, I like a resplendent angel. I also like a volcanic hammer. Are, what are we doing, guys? Are we mono? Re are we mono red, or are we? Are we just taking the good cards? Michael, you grow a mustache in November. Why would I do that? You probably look pretty good with mustache. No, my mustache is always really thin. You gotta let it grow, man. And then you gotta wax it. And yeah, but then it gets all in my mouth and. Uh, not if you groom yourself like an adult. No, the strands get too long, man. They, they pit her on the lip. They what? They pit her on the lip. Pit her on the lip. Yeah. Hmm. Everybody knows of the pit her on the lip. Goblin Kaboomist. At the beginning of your upkeep, create a colorless artifact token named Landmine with red sacrifices artifact. This deals two damage to start attacking a creature without flying. So you just make one every turn? Yeah, but when you sack it, you might kill him. Right, but like if I have three or four out by then, that's pretty good. Hmm. I don't know, man. What's wrong with it? Is it just Grim Lava Mancer? This is a goblin. No, I'm taking this guy. You're crazy. Six damage to each creature and each player? Jesus. Whatever. It's the only red card. Oh, each turn it... Oh, okay. I see. I see. I thought, they I thought you only flipped the coin when you actually activated him. Um, I didn't know that was actually part of the end. Okay. Yeah, I didn't miss Festering Goblin. I'm just not going to play black, so I don't see a point in taking a black card. I think that everybody's like, you missed this guy. No, I'm not going to take a one mana black card. But it's really good. Okay, then I'll take it, but it's not. So, what problem is... If we get Patriarch's bidding, well, that would require it to be in a core set, and I don't feel like that's the case. Good, sir. Oh, the Matron did come back. Oh, Coat of Arms came back, too. Yeah, it's definitely Coat of Arms here. You're a Patriarch's bidding. Got him. Did you see how much I wrecked? Did you see JT Tweeds get so wrecked? God dang, that's like brutal, dude. Hmm. Wow. All right. Sure. Big pop a bowl. I got two. Of <laughs> you did. You did get two. Of it. I didn't want to say anything, but we both know what happened. Hey, man. Do you want to see my pop a bowl? No. Now we don't get any any red cards. We took all the red cards. I just got a little chill. I just got a little chill in me, Winkers. What the f what the hell did you just say? I just got a little chill in me, Winkers. Yeah, I did. Yeah, that's what I said. What does that even mean? You know it to be true. I, if I don't know what it means, how can I know it to be true? Just trust in the light of in your eyes. Trust in the light of your eyes. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Explain it to me, because I don't know, man. Maybe I'm drinking a jazz coffee. Frenzied Gobo. Is Fireball as good in... Probably, yeah. I bet it's probably just as good in this, in this format. I also feel like there's a decent chance that Goblin comes back. Oh, there's a 100% chance that Goblin comes back. I don't know what that means, but it seems like a fair assessment to me. Oh, man. We can fireball our Inferno when we have nine mana. Twelve damage to everybody. Oh, the Trash Master? That's a Goblin Lord. God, but there's also a PN Kieran Alar in here. I think Trash Master is better for our deck. I think Trash Master is better for your mother's trashy boy. I bet this comes back, though. Playing a dangerous game. 
I mean, the Goblin Matron came back. Yeah, that's fair. I'm going to risk it for the Biscuit. We'll see what happens. It's only like second pick, too, so I think it's pretty likely that it comes back. Oh, trashy boy. Trashy boy. I'm going to take the Stoke the Flames. Now we got Goblin Rob Metzer and Stoke the Flames. It's basically just core. It's M15 all over again. You drink some whiskey drink, you drink some vodka drink, you drink some cider drink, you drink some vodka drink. And there's some that remind me of the best times, and the songs that remind me of the good times. Oh, Michael boy. Keep going up. Yeah, that's not, that's not what we're looking for. Okay. Oh, Chieftain. See, this is what I'm talking about, man. This is what we're talking about. I feel like our deck is very, very good. I'm going to have to watch this accent stream. I'm here. It was a good one. Michael did his best Scottish, Australian, Irish, British, and Canadian accents. I think he also threw in a southern accent and a, uh, a Minnesotan accent as well. Uh, oh, Goblin Grenade. <laughs> Gas. Also, if this short cutter comes back, I'll be just fine. If someone quits, like, disconnects after you say good games, how long is MG? Uh, 10 minutes. You get 10 minutes to be inactive before it comes, comes back to get you. Come back to get you. <laughs> Can you guys do a Newfoundland accent? I don't even know what that is. <coughs> Your mother is a Newfoundland accent. Is she? Yes. Um, I actually don't hate Avaracious Dragon. Draw two cards, discard your hand. That's a nice little... Plus one four for fly for four. Right. I like that. Actually. Threaten's also not bad either. Steal their guy. Throw him at a dude. Steal your guy. Throw him at a dude. Yeah. Free. We can also steal their guy, and then we have Dark Dwellers to sacrifice it. We have. There is goblins on Threaten, so if we were doing a goblin stipulation, you know what's up. Go with Stippo. I'm going to take the Threaten here. Uh, I'm taking the Threaten because I think we're going to be able to get back Trash Master, which means we'll have a bunch of four drops already. Uh, Thud is good with Threaten. Deals X damage to target creature if there are two more instant or sorceries. I don't know if there will be. I think I'm just going to take the Thud here. Oh, Ogre Battle Driver is actually not a goblin, but it's still pretty good. All right. We got there. A little gum. You got some gum? Some mm -hmm. watermelon gum? Yeah. Hmm. Got a little watermelon gum. Watermelon gum. I'm not going to eat it on stream, though. It's probably a good idea. And by eat it, I mean chew it. <laughs> Why you eat? Oh, Frenzied Goblin. I want to take that over Abbot of Carol Keep, just because, well, obvious reasons. Trash Master came back. Oh, man, we have it all now. I want it all. And I want it now. What does Thud do? Uh, it's fling for one mana sorcery. Uh. Bah. 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 Now we're not just going... I don't know the, I don't know the quote. <sighs> delicious. Just delicious. West Virginia. Have you seen the Queen Barbecue? No, no, I have not yet, but it's only been out for like five days, so. Mm. 
Michael's mama, take me home. This just makes two dudes, so that's just fine. Have you seen the Hornet Queen biopic? Not yet. Uh, I'm still leaning towards 17 lands. We have a bunch of four drops, a coat of arms, and a fireball. I mean, I don't know what we're going to get in the next pack, though, but this deck looks pretty good. We also have two ways to sacrifice the creature we take with Threaten. We have two Lords, Rabble Master and... Or not Rabble Master. Yeah, no. Chieftain and Trash Master. This guy is also a Lord. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, it gets plus two, plus zero in haste. So if we play like this into P and Kieran Alar, we get a 3-1, a 3-1, and a 4-2. And they all have haste. That's pretty ridiculous. It's also good with Gear Crafter. Also good with Dragon Fodder. <laughs> it's really sad at the end of the Order Queen biopic. Hey, no spoilers, buddy. <laughs> what do we got here? Oh, exquisite firecraft. We are really living the uh, the corset dream here. I also like Kona Flame. I think Firecraft is better though, right? I do too. I think this card is just busted. Especially when we already have uh, Stoke the Flames. Dang, Newfies? And his large adult son, Mike. That is, yeah, that's my large son, Mike. It's my large son, Mike. Do, 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 do. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Where did my creatures go? There's no goblins. How many how many spells do we actually have on our deck right now? Uh, it's not actually that's not a bad amount. Eight spells. Pirates are could be good here. It's either Pyromancer or uh, what was the other card in that pack? My dad. Okay, that's helpful. I think there's a plot worm in there. Yeah, that's what we'll take. Oh, oh there is Nexus Fate in this pack, just in case in this draft, just in case you guys didn't know. That could be our splash. Yes, yes, it could be. I don't think it's Fire Diamond. I don't care about that. Goblin Arsonist is a thing. I don't really care about that. That'll come back. Uh, whenever this casts, whenever an opponent casts a non-creature spell. If it's Renowned, it deals two damage to that player. This card's actually good. How do you get Renowned? Uh, you have to deal combat damage to a player. Okay. Seems okay. Uh, there's definitely spicy archetypes. I like Sword of Engines too, but I think this is probably better for our deck. We only have 12 creatures, so I'd rather just have a creature. Oh, Krenko. Ooh. That's a good boy. That is a meatball. <laughs> that is a meatball. That is a spicy meatball. And if we have the Ogre Battle Driver, it gets haste, so you can just tap play a Cranko and make three dudes. Oh, and then they all get haste? Oh, man. Battle Driver <gasps> and Cranko seems insane, dude. Are you, are you doing okay? No. That's too bad. It's too much money, man. This is? It's too many dollars. Okay, don't, be start, don't start playing out music automatically. Oh, Mogfanek. That's a classic. Classic Vlasic Pickles. Yeah, I'll take Monk Fanatic. Oh, the old fling, huh? Deals four damage if I don't any number of targets, and that's pretty bad. Yeah, we'll just take fling. I don't foresee us playing it, but... No, we ain't playing Thud and Fling. Do we just what? What's better though? Like Fling being an instant's real strong. I like Fling over Thud as well. Really? 
Being an instant? Yeah, dude. You can kill their dudes. Like, if they go to kill your guy, you can sack it in response. Ooh. Got a little hammer of Bogardian. Tell me more about your Bogardian. No. You ever had a Bogardian burger? Wait, hold on. What about that? Was that Chandra a good one? No, it's a shitty one. Uh, it deals one damage to any target for plus one. When you cast Drake's instant or sorcery, you can copy oh, yeah, it. Yeah, that's the and bad then, one. Yeah, it's not. She's not great. Oh, Cranko's command. That's just goblins. Oh, Kona Flame came back? Mm hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like having a Kona Flame. Um, I'm probably going to take out the Kaboomist. Yeah, I don't like that guy. Everything else is fine. I can see us playing 16 lands with this, though. Yeah, our curve's pretty low. Also, Krenko's Command is good with Young Pyromancer. Make three dudes. Oh, oh, oh. The mic stuff. The mic stuff. That's right. That's right. I feel like that's a safe one. I feel like it's very solid. Talk about TVs, ladies and gentlemen. Televisions. Mono red gutter snipe scam clan flame next to pump smells come for fun back. Oh yeah, because if we have a lord out, the kaboomist doesn't matter if it hits himself. That's actually pretty good. Because that's just two three. God, it's so dark outside. And it's only six. Daylight savings weird. Agreed. I am not comfortable with it. Wow, Sword of Vengeance came back. Alright, I'll take that. I'll take all the cards, I guess. This deck looks sweet. I'm actually excited for it. Did Bjorn leave? No, he's still here. Highland Lake. Is Kona Flame better than Fireball? Oh wow, her reinforcements came back. Might be. I don't think so, though. Stone Quarry, and it feels so good. Fall asleep? Yeah, with my eyes open. Dude, I don't even know how you sleep. <laughs> What'd your mom want? Nothing. She was just talking about family stuff. What a dummy. Wow. Got her. Thank you. Hungry Howie bought. Eight months in our proud sponsor was flavorful and crusty, crusty stream out there? That sounds... That does not sound... This stuff looks tasty. Our fine tuna sauce that you find in every home. Oh my god. Why? Alright, we're going to add 16 Montanias. And we're just going to run it. You ready? Mm-hmm. Two owed got him. Wait, did you who did you get? What's even happening right now? Boom 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 Hey man, where are we gonna get dinner? Look, I picked a quick dick, so now we're gonna just crush them real fast and then we're gonna ride on out of this piece. Ride on out of this piece. Keep. Such a keep. Such a sneep. Keep him and sneep him. Have a happy Howie day. That's from... Have a happy Howie day. Have a happy Howie day. It's the best time of the year. What does that two job do? Uh, it's 2-2 two, two for two. Sacker creature, exile the top card of the library. You play that card this turn. It's a pretty heavy investment to play a random spell on top of your deck. Right, but you just you don't have to use it either, so. Like, if you're going to kill your guy, you might as well sacrifice him. Maybe get a land drop out of it or something. Is that water? What water? Yeah, it's my shower. Oh, does that do that? Yeah, it just, it, it, some, yeah, I'm like, once you said that, I was like. It is water. Theoretically, it should stop. The cat, cat's taking a shower? Yeah. Mm. 
Go check on that. Yeah, it's when... Just, just take a look and peek and see if this, this is coming from the shower. Alright, we drew another four drop, which is not ideal here. Yeah, it's coming from the shower. Alright, that's fine. It just does that. Sometimes it drains a little slower. It's got some residual drainage. We have three four drops. If we can hit a fourth land... Actually, we have four four drops, technically. I just didn't count this one because... Take a peek in the shower. What could possibly go wrong? Arms dealer. Fascinating. Well. Four drop, four drop, four drop, four drop, four drop. I can't imagine attacking here being correct. But can't you make it unblockable? Right, but I'd rather just almost want to kill this guy because I'd rather keep up Stoke the Claim here. Well, that's nice. We have three cards. Oh, we're definitely killing that guy. I think... Alrighty then. Alrighty then. We can actually play Trash Master to get rid of this, which is kind of cool. We can play Trash Master and then sacrifice this. Yeah, play Trash Master, attack for two, then sack. Yeah, that seems pretty alright. I like that play. Or we can just play PN Karen LR. Getting for two seems good though. Two all damage? Yeah. Wow. We'll set up our goblin count. It's a holly jolly Mac B. Mac I'll be every day. Also, if they try to arms dealer to kill our trash master, and then we can get rid of it. I mean, they're probably going to have to exile Brittle Effigy this turn to get rid of the Trash Master. Oh, they did not do that. Well, now I'm going to do it for sure. I think. No, I don't care. The problem is that, like, if we do get rid of the Brittle Effigy, then they can just arms deal our Trash Master. I'm trying to put them in a situation where they don't get to do that. And I think we have, because they didn't play a fourth land. Yeah, a, a threatening and sacking their guy was also what I was considering. But as soon as we go to threaten this guy, they're just going to sacrifice it to deal four damage to the Trash Master. So that's not really ideal. And yeah, we can just pass here. Oh, Dragon Fodder. Hello, Mother. Dragon Fodder. Gonna steal this. Little goblin. So they're probably for sure going to kill this guy. But I'm definitely not. I don't care about it blocking. Take a look at your Discord message when you have a moment. More TV talk for me. You don't want to. Oh, appreciate it. I will definitely check. Okay, so. You're killing this guy. So I'm going to sacrifice it to get rid of this. And now I feel pretty good about Krenko because we got two removal, two removals off their board. And if Krenko, like we can also untap, play Dragon Fodder and make one, two, three, four guys, which seems pretty unbeatable if they don't have an answer for Krenko. Is 4th edition? No, 7th edition and forward. They don't have an answer for Krenko, they might just lose here. Oh boy. Also a good draw. Also a good draw. Yikes. 
Man, this Frenzy Goblin is doing some work. Alright, so they're one man away from Nickel Bolas. Nicky boy. If you know what I mean. No. Well, that's sad. Oh, Nicky boy. What's going on? Don't do something crazy like wildfire, because then we're probably just dead. Yeah, it's JT. JT. That's exactly what I'm thinking here. Exactly what I'm thinking. Don't wildfire me, bro. Add command cosmic cube. That's pretty good. That's pretty okay. Come on, don't be like this. What is this? Don't do it. Come on. Don't. Just stop it. I'm really uncomfortable with everything that's happening right now. Oh, all right. Yeah, whatever. Oh, Krenko survives because it, it divides it. Oh, yeah, boy. Wait, why did he survive? Because Fireball has to divide the damage evenly. It doesn't deal three to all things. Oh. So three, so this is ten. Yeah, they're just dead. This is lethal. Beep boop, pop boop, beep boop. That's the sound that robot makes. That's my robot friend. It's your robot friend. It's my robot friend. It's my robot friend. Yeah, we do have Wildflower, but these are league drafts. So that you do not get to... It doesn't really matter if you have it. Here you go. Okay. He's going to yawn. Hold on. He's going to do it. I didn't yawn. He's happening. A side. Sigh. Yeah, yeah. That's a, a side duck. This hand is kind of okay. It's pretty good. I like it. We'll top deck a one drop. Are you ready? Okay, I'm waiting. Are you ready, Boots? This Mike B's made for a walk. That is a good dude, though. Especially with Dragon Fodder. Hello, Mother. Dragon Fodder. Here I am with Marble Diamond. Scootin' doo 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 doo. <laughs> oh, Rubik's Cube. This is good. Borg Cube. Wow. You guys are having a good time. Oh, see, this is great, because now you just give me the exact thing I want to exquisite firecraft. Or I can actually just sack this guy and shoot this idiot. Mm -hmm. That might be better. Can Mike put on the green screen hood? I just need it. Um, maybe. I could. Here you go. It's all yours. Hood it up, my friend. Did I do it right? Nailed it. Wow, that's weird. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, they didn't do anything. Well, that's sad. Ooh, I kind of just like playing this, but I think we're going to play Battle Boy first. Don't counter my card. Please don't counter this. Why is he talking like that? Next turn we can go Scab Clan and Dragon Fodder. That is a lot of hasty creatures. You look good without that unnecessary head. I agree. I've always told Mike to get rid of his head. Oh, isn't that cute? He stole it. Well, that's unfortunate.
He stole it. Wow, main phase opportunity. Looks like they really took the opportunity to play that one. I'm going to deal you eight here, and then this guy says whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you take two. Aggressive. <laughs> That's just amazing. No time to be alive. I'm like an Art Deco piece. I'm like what? An Art Deco piece. Art Deco piece? Oh, you're an Art Deco piece. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's... I don't know if you're really Art Deco per se, but... Oh, well, that's that's pretty nice. How are they not dead? I guess they could kill this guy. They take two, go to eight. They go block, block. They take three, go to five, and then we have a stoke. Hey, check this out. Yes. Oh no, I'm disappearing. <laughs> that was incredible. I feel like I just watched a modern art performance. You're going to mill me for, for three? Like, the problem is that in order to even get rid of this, they have to take two. And then we just get to stoke, the, stoke their flames. Well, that's not the land you want. Oh, boy. This is just getting worse. He does have an echo boss. That thing's gotta die. I would just rather shoot their face in there. Oh, time. yeah, that's fair. And then we can kill them. Because if even the counter this, they go to three, and then they're just dead on board. Because then they have to deal with this guy still, so then they go to one. So, negative. Eh, negative. All right, memory lapse. Oh, it just goes on top. Oh boy. <laughs> Deal. Okay. Por qué? All right. Let's try again. From what I observe, this seems more like a monocolor cube with some splash. Maybe that's true. Good game. <laughs> Hammer of Bogs in the yard? No, I don't even think we're playing Hammer of Bogs in our deck. I think we passed it. It's right here. Oh, we do have it. Why are we playing that? I don't know. It's three mana. Probably better than Threaten in the main deck. Oh, maybe you're right, actually. I like that. I like that you scratched your wrist. I did. I had a little rich dish, rich. Uh, wrist. It was above the elbow, but before the wrist. Okay. That's what she said. It was above the elbow, but before the wrist? What did she mean by that? I don't know. You'd have to ask her. Weird. One drop, two drop, three drop, four. Actually, this is just fine. <coughs> Blah. <laughs> if you don't have threatened, do you need fling? I mean, do we, does anybody need fling? Fling can deal with a dome piece, son. Don't have anything. Just play an awkward tap land here. Just That's all I want. No, Schniggle Bottoms. No, that's fine. We get to res we get to we get a free dude. That's totally fine. Did you say Schniggle Bottoms? I did. How's that working out for you? Pretty good. How's your Schniggle Bottoms working out for you? Pretty good. No, oh, this is desperate. They need an answer, and they need it now. I need an answer. It's my answer, and I, I want it now. Found an answer. I did find an answer. Well, they'll never find another again. You'll never find another again. You'll never find another answer. How much damage do you have in hand? 
five, six hundred nine talents. We have thirteen damage in hand. Yeah, it's a lot, dude. So they're virtual five. Yeah, I don't care about that thing. I'm probably just gonna shoot their face with Stoke here. Shoot, shoot, uh, doop. Come on, Lord. Okay. The Lord of the Fire. It's getting better, huh? Um, could just shoot their little guy in their face, right? I think we could shoot all their things, right? One, two, three. No, I think we can only shoot two things. Yeah. So one, two. Okay. One, two. X is currently one. So we still have nine damage. All right, this is good. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh wow. That's something right there. So aren't they just dead here? Yeah, I think so. This deck is something, man. Seems good. <laughs> Ooh, that's a thing, isn't it? Isn't it? I almost uh, like coming a flame over flame. The copy target instant sorcery spell might be good here. What'd they have? Oh, I'm sure they have like they have removal and stuff, you know? No, I don't think so. Okay. Can I ask you something? Why are you the way that you are? I don't know. No one does. No one does. Something, something dark side. Yeah, it's a little slow, but you know. Oh, we got a two drop and a four drop and a three drop and a five drop and a two drop and a one. The red deck is sick if you can get it. My God, I always want to wait to play this after Battle Driver. So greedy. But like, we can just go Battle Driver into Krenko. Krenko gets haste, make the dudes. We just have to hope that works out. What? That's a weird. Oh God. Three drop then a land. That's all I want. I'm pretty sure I'll kill this guy with Exquisite Firecraft. This guy does not seem like I want to keep them around. Don't play Sky Scanner. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, this is awkward because, like, if we play this, they gotta respond, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just gonna do this. I don't want to risk this. No attacks. I guess we could have actually waited, but I, d I didn't really feel like them getting like more guard 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 effects. Glad we drew land there. Same. If they can't kill this guy, I think they might just be dead. We can go this guy into this guy. If we hit a land, we go this this. I'm actually real excited about. This guy surviving and us hitting a land. Even if we don't hit a land, it still makes three dudes. They all have haste. And they all get plus two, plus oh. Yep, never, never didn't have it. Never didn't have it. It's actually still pretty good. Next time we go Trash Master and make a bunch of dudes. They don't get haste, but... Target your plus X number until X number of swamps you control. Okay, that's actually fine. We have two swamps. Yeah, draw a swamp. You got it. As long as Cranko resolves once, I'm pretty sure it's okay. Different targets, so we can actually deal three to you, two to you, and one to you. Yeah. What's our alternative here? Play trash man. I think we have to get rid of the Liliana here. Uh, deals one damage. One, two, three. 
Don't have four spike. I should just play the land. And send one at Liliana. Yeah, and I think we're just going to make two guys this turn. Seems good. Maybe you should have kept that because there's a lot of cards that make you discard. Maybe. Yeah. Mutilate and Languish. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That is very good. God, we never don't have it. <laughs> yeah, Mana Leaks and Corsets. Actual Counter Spells and Corsets. Wow. Mm, that's a little hard to deal with. That's not something that prompts can fix. attack here probably they have a lot of cards in their hand man languish and mutilate is pretty brutal yeah it's pretty hard to come back from why didn't we kill the star oh uh, yeah I don't know I just didn't think about it I forgot that card even had that ability could you get your nose off the mic my nose isn't on the mic Okay. Well. Right. Enters the battlefield, create a 5 5 demon with flying. If you can your upkeep, you lose 2 life. Yeah, that's something. Man, where's the fling when you need it? Yep. 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 I think we're dead. Yeah, it's not looking good. Yeah, this game's over. Yep, can't beat double sweeper. Probably want to bring Threaten back in. Yep, definitely want to bring Threaten in here. Probably take out Hammer again. Um, maybe. Feeling a little crazy right now, so I'm gonna go. We're gonna 41 it. 16. I mean, Grave Titan's definitely a solid card, no joke. No lie. That is no lie. You ain't got a lie, Craig. That's true. You ain't. This hand is great. Keep it.
We have not seen Coat of Arms yet in about five games, which is interesting. It's going to be one drop. It was a four drop. I lied to you. I guess we automaton next. It's a good, man good, good mana usage. Oh, that was what we wanted. Let's go Goblin. Don't force spike me, bro. They did not. No four spikes were had this day. I mean, they're going to just untap Languish, I'm sure, but yep, this is a Languish, all right. And it has to be Languish, unfortunately, because... Mutilate is only going to deal two. Actually, it could be Mutilate now because we kill this guy. Yep, never, never don't have it. <sighs> so frustrating. I, mean, I guess it was a two for two or two for three, which is not terrible, but you know, not really great either. Surprisingly worth it. <laughs> and considering nothing in our deck costs more than like, f I think we have like one five drop and a cone of flame, so cool. Cool. Stoke the flames might just kill them. Actually, now we can sack one of these things. Actually, how much damage can we get? One, two. Actually, we think we just win here, right? So that puts them to eight. And then we can deal four, two with each, puts them to four. And then four, yeah. And then we can firecraft them. So if they don't draw any life gain, I guess we just win. I like winning. Oh, I like winning. Good for you. Thank you. And this also can't be countered? No, it can be right now. That's awkward. So let's attack. I think we just take 10 here. That's fine with me. Yeah, tap off for something stupid. That's what we're hoping for. They're probably going to kill PN Kieran Alar or kill a Thofter, I guess. Do, 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 do. What's the verdict? God, I wish this was uncounterable. If we can draw like one kind of stupid spell, like a Krenko's Command or something, I'd feel much better about it. Target you gets neg X, or X is the number of swamps you control. Huh. Sure. Ooh, I don't like that second blue. Spell. Dang it. Come on, hold. Nice. Got him. Good games. All right, red deck's doing it. Doing it well. Well, it weren't guaranteed dead, because they did have the option to counter that if they were able to, but... Uh, 
Seems they were unable to. Hey man, where are we eating food? God, I don't know, you know? I don't know. You're right. You know? Good talk. Chipotle? That could be alright. God, I wish Taco Bus was closer. That would be ideal. Taco Bus is bay. <laughs> keep. Snap keep, dude. Well, that was a good deal. Where'd that be? I didn't see it at first, okay. <laughs> okay? God. God. I didn't see it. This hand is great. I hope we draw like a dragon fodder. I do too. I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, give me a dragon fodder. I got two of them. We got two in here. Do we? Yeah, we got dragon fodder and Krenko's command. Oh, that's actually oh, probably that's better true, than yeah. Firecraft, right? Still them. Pretty sure they don't have any instant speed things. Yeah, they're basically dead, I think. Also, play this before combat in case they have a trick. And, wow. <laughs> All right, that'll do. Huh, wow. That'll do, pig. Well, we didn't really see much, so... Games with no coat of arms in the goblin deck. I feel like Cone of Flame would probably be good, but I think we're just fine. We don't... I also think Threaten might be good here because they're green-white, so they probably have big, dumb idiots. We didn't see anything, though. Yeah, they just got stuck on lands. Pretty sure they're stuck on three drops. What? They didn't... Really? They hit every land drop, did they not? No, they missed the land drop. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Turn three. I mean, they just conceded on their turn three. They didn't necessarily miss a land drop, per se. Hey, look. A coat of arms. Nailed it. See, Chad, your command did it, buddy. This hand's actually good if we can hit some lands. Oh, alright. So we can go turn two at one of these guys. Turn three this. Turn four, Krenko. Activate. Coat of arms. Literally busted. Look at that creepy skin shifter. Is it... It's gotta be Ember Holler. It's better for the coat, and also we don't have anything. I guess if we're trying to hammer this guy next turn, you know, Pyromancer is better, but. Also, if we don't hit a land, we just. It doesn't matter. We'll get this guy down before anything, anything else, anyway. Oh, um, gee. No, no blocks. Thanks. A short-lived but effective command, truly. Oh, that card's good. Yep, that's what we're afraid of. It's gonna be one of these matches, I guess. A classic. Like you do. Probably blocking here. Actually, we just block here. Or maybe they put something gross on it. Yep, there we go. Gets, can we block us by creatures with flying? Whatever, that's fine. I got two I got two removal spells. Oh, and a rancor on this guy. Alright. Everything is happening. So if we block here, it forces them to tap out, and then we can shoot it. No, we don't have any mana up, though. Well, not this turn. But I'm also going to try to... I'm also going to stoke this thing, so... That was a nice draw. Yeah, it's probably exclusive Firecraft here. I 
Boom, ba boom, 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 ba boom, boom, boom. I don't foresee us blocking this guy, so. They have two cards in hand? God, there's gotta be a way we can survive, right? Uh, pretty sure we could not have blocked and stoked. We only had two creatures up, we were tapped out. Could have blocked. Oh, I see what you're saying. On their turn? Sure. But there's no real point of that, I'd rather just attack. It's fine. No blocks. I'll make it a 4-4. Four, 4-4 four. Four, four of the mode, right? Yeah. The problem is they can do this once a turn, so they can just make this an 8 if we try to burn it out, which is kind of scary against the uh, red deck. Remorseful Clary. Oh, jeez. Cheddar cheese biscuits. Cheddar cheese biscuits. Pretty sure we just have to kill this. Otherwise, we die to both these guys. We can also play automaton. That doesn't seem great. We could play Tomaton and then Stoke that guy, right? Yeah, I guess. God, the 08 is really problematic. Yeah. Magic's hard. You know what to do. If we didn't miss two land drops, I think this game is totally different. I mean, they're probably going to exile our graveyard for funsies. Which is fine. Wish we had land to punish them. Actually, what if we just double block here? They make it an 08 and then we can stoke it in response? I think that actually seems fine. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, but if he has more mana open, can he just do it again? No, it's once per turn. Oh. All the ability is once per turn. Uh, it will become a 2-8 the only one they can make it to survive is a 2-8 and then we can in response to them making it a 2-8 we can kill it 4-4 four, four. sure oh flying and trample sure that is an option oh it's also choose one so we don't even know what they're going to do that's unfortunate Yep, just take it. If they tap out, we just kill it, I guess. We can't kill it now, because then they'll just make it a 2-8. Oh, Is the activate this ability once per turn per mode? Oh, wow, I'm dumb. Oh, that changes everything. Oh, wow. I, I don't like the wording on this. Because it makes it seem like it can use each one of these three times. Wow, that's stupid. Oh. Wow, I that changes either. literal everything. Oh, God, wow. Because it looks like three separate abilities, each one of which you can use once a turn. That's so stupid, man. We could be at seven right now. That changes the entire game. No, I don't think we're. I think we're still in this game. Oh, we definitely are. Because if they try to convoke this guy, then they just die. Wow, that's so stupid. 
Yeah, if, if you read the card on paper, it makes total sense because it's after all of the abilities. It says it becomes this or this or this. All right, that's pretty good. I'm pretty sure we just play Adaptive Automaton and keep up Ember Hauler. What do we name? We can name an Elemental here, and that's not bad. We could. You could also play Coat. That might have been better. We don't have enough mana for Coat. Coat's five. Oh, I thought it was three. I thought it was three. <laughs> we can also just kill this guy. Which I think is probably better, especially considering our... Actually, if you're not going to block, that's fine. I would rather wait and do it in response to a rank. I don't think you're going to play a mountain. This actually might turn the entire game around. If we draw if we draw a land and we play Coat of Arms naming Elemental, like... I think they're just dead to that. I can't imagine they have anything with haste. Like, the thing is, here they have to block something, so... Even if they block wood, they have to block... Oh, wow, Rabbit Bite. That's brutal. All right, one time. Coat of Arms, one time. Land, one time. All the things, one time. Mog Fanatic? It's eh, not terrible. And a board full of one ones. Yeah, just play Crafter and uh, Mog Fanatic, I guess. So they have one card in its Rancor, so that's pretty nice because whatever they try to equip, we can kill. Uh, the problem is they can put it on this guy and then just make him indestructible in response. So I'm actually just going to kill the Kithy in here. Because the last thing we want to do is be like, oh, I'll just make it indestructible. I guess in response... No, they could because they can go Rancor. We'd have to shoot in response, and then they go make it indestructible. Yeah. Alright. That's pretty good. This deck was pretty good. Oh, thank you guys so much if you guys are watching on YouTube. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon and Twitch. Both of those are .com slash Frank Lepore. You can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore if you guys want 15% off uh, some super comfortable micromodal underwear or onesies or socks or tees or lounge pants, etc., etc. You also get free shipping and free returns. So be sure to check that out. The link is in the description below. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate the support.